Hi everyone, in today's video we'll take a look at a useful tool called Elastic Dump to help us export and transfer data between Elastic servers. Now specifically in the video we'll take a look at how you can export data from an Elastic server to a local JSON file and we'll also take a look at how you can move data directly between two Elastic servers. Now both these two situations come in handy many a times, particularly when you're trying to move data between environments, uh, such as from your dev to staging, for example, or if you're trying to migrate data from two different Elastic servers, or uh, very commonly when you're trying to analyze the data from Elasticsearch. Um, so typically when it comes to analyzing data in Elasticsearch, say for example you want to use Python, R, or various other analytical and BI tools, it may not be feasible all the time to directly connect to an Elastic server. And uh, very often it's uh, helpful to export the data into a format like a JSON file for instance and then analyze that uh, through various tools. Uh, so that's the scope of this video. So let's uh, dive in and see Elastic Dump. So the only prerequisite uh, when working with Elastic Dump is uh, for us to uh, install Elastic Dump. And uh, the way we can do that is uh, through a utility, I'm sorry, an NTM install. That's here. So let's go ahead and install that globally. Uh, might take a couple of minutes for that to complete. Alright, so now that the package has been installed, let's take a look at what um, the index looks like. So I'm going to run a curl command on our source index uh, and let's take a look at what uh, the data looks like. Uh, so here it's just a mocked up data set, a user's uh, data set that's completely mocked up. So essentially we have an index called users uh, which contains a type user data and we can see that it's uh, it's not a very wide data set. It contains uh, just a handful of uh, columns uh, like first name, last name, email, gender and country. And let's take a look at how we can export that data uh, out to Elastic Dump. Uh, I'm sorry, out to a file using Elastic Dump. Uh, so for that, we can take a look at the Elastic Dump command. Uh, again, keep in mind, uh, we have installed Elastic locally uh, on a Linux machine, but uh, Elastic Dump is also available as an independent Docker container, but uh, essentially the Docker container only has this one command. So uh, again, you can use a discretion whether you to use the Docker container directly, uh, a Docker image directly, or use the command. So let's run the command right now. So, oops, that's not the command. Let me copy the command. Um, so the way to do that is to run Elastic Dump and specify both the input and the output. And uh, here we can see that it's a fairly straightforward command, uh, run the input, and this is our source index that you can see over here. And we have specified that uh, the output needs to be sent to uh, a, a JSON file. So let's take a look at what that JSON file looks like. So here we have the JSON file that's just been exported. So cat and um, here you go. So that's basically the index dumped out uh, to a JSON file. So that's handy, but let's take a look at another scenario where we would want to take this um, index from one Elastic server. That's what you have here. Uh, that's on our source system. And we will want to move that to a different uh, Elastic server on a different server. Uh, so for us to do that, so that's our source system. And let's take a look at our target or destination system and uh, here we shouldn't find it because we don't have that index already in place but now let's take a look at how we can use uh, elastic dump to move data between two different uh, elastic servers uh, so again the command is pretty much the same as last time except we are specifying that the output needs to go to a different uh, elastic server uh, again, we could have specified that uh, the output from our previous step, that's the JSON file, we could have used the JSON file to, uh, as an input and send that data out uh, to a different Elastic server. So again, uh, it's uh, really flexible. Uh, you'll also notice that um, the default is for Elastic Dump to use 100 objects at a time. However, there's an extra parameter here where you can specify a uh, different parameter. So the default in most of the cases uh, for Elastic Server is about 10,000 uh, objects. That's the maximum I can query in one shot. Uh, so you could even set that to 10,000. 
uh, all right and uh, finally one last thing to note of is uh, internally elastic uh, dump uses this idea of an offset so for instance if um, if uh, the export broke and you wanted to continue you can specify the offset as another parameter so now that this command has completed let's take a look um, at um, our elastic um, server the target server the last time we ran the command it was an empty index so this time if we run it uh, sure enough we have uh, now got the index populated with data so in this quick demo we have seen a look at, uh, taken a look at how you can use elastic dump to export and import data uh, between elastic servers and also to export data into a json file for further analysis uh, it's been a utility that i found really helpful when working with elastic i uh, hope this uh, video was helpful and uh, thank you for watching